Hello, my wonderful friend. Today's video is on 17 signs you are more attractive than you think. Now, I know what's going on in your mind, but hear me out. The honest truth is you've been told a pack of lies about what is actually attractive to women and what women want most. What you are about to hear, these signs I'm about to share with you that you're more attractive than you think, comes from both my insight as a woman and my extensive training and research as a certified coach. The last sign I'm going to share with you is easily the one that I think will be most surprising to you. According to research, it is actually the, the most sought after trait. It's what most people want in a partner. And it's also one of the easiest traits to get. So pay very close attention to that one and make sure you watch to the end. If this is your first time watching, welcome. My name is Melanie. I'm a Christian dating coach for men. I teach you how to stop wasting your time and stop wasting your money on dead end relationships by learning the skills you need to just get the girl. So be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell and give me a big big thumbs up. Now, can I just be brutally honest with you guys for just a second? As I mentioned before, you are taught so many lies about what it is women are actually looking for and what is most important to women. I, as I mentioned, I'm going to be going over 17 signs you are more attractive than you think, because again, if you've been told all these lies, then you actually have no idea how attractive you really are. These are the things that women are actually looking for. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that one thing that sets my channel apart from a lot of other things you will find on the internet is guys, I don't teach you how to just have like a one night fling, okay? I am teaching you how to get a long-term, long-lasting relationship of your dreams. The truth is, if you can dream it, you can have it. You just have to know how, and that's what I'm here for. So these things I will, I will be teaching you, even if they're not what you're seeing other places, well, that's because they're just teaching you how to have that one night fling. Well, I'm teaching you how to get your dream relationship. Now, here's the deal. Pay close attention to this. As we go through this list, two things are going to happen. One, you are going to see some of these signs and you're going to say, yes, I'm doing that. I want you to celebrate it. Seriously, let yourself celebrate it. And if you don't see anything in this list and say, yes, I'm doing that. Well, the truth is you're being too hard on yourself. So e ease up on yourself and treat yourself a lot more nicely than that. The other thing is you will probably see many things, many signs that you're not doing. That's okay. That is just a good way to bring it to your attention and help you know some things you can work on. So don't beat yourself up about it, okay? It's perfectly normal not to have everything on this list. Sound good? Okay. Let's dive in. Sign number one is that you look people in the eye. There is something about that, that makes us feel really connected and really important when we look someone in the eye. As a matter of fact, it helps us show people that we, we feel like they are equal. This shows respect and admiration and understanding and really increases the attraction so much more dramatically than you would think. Someone who doesn't look people in the eye can come across as arrogant or snotty, or if it's like out of like submission and nervousness, then that makes other people feel nervous as well. So being somebody who looks someone in the eye, that is a very, very attractive trait, far more attractive than most people realize. Sign number two that you are more attractive than you think is that you listen to people. As, a, as people, we're kind of starved to feel like we matter, right? Everybody wants to feel like they matter, absolutely everyone. And when someone listens to us, yeah, we feel like we matter. We feel like we're important to someone and like someone understands us. So if you are somebody who takes the time to listen to people, you are very attractive. This is very attractive to women because as women, that's kind of how we bond with people. That's how we feel understood is by someone listening to us, which is why you always see women talking to each other. So if you are good at listening, then you are far more attractive than you think. Sign number three that you are more attractive than you think is that you smile. Let's face it, smiles are just attractive. They say a lot about who you are as a person. They help you present yourself as happy and attractive and someone fun and confident and interesting to be around. I know you've probably heard to like man up and like act tough and act aloof and make her chase you and all these things. The truth is, real women who are looking for real relationships, long lasting relationships, she ain't got time for that. 
I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, she doesn't. So if she sees a guy who's like too cool to smile, or a guy who just won't smile, or who's too nervous to smile, that pushes her away. So if instead she sees you and you smile, she feels connected to you and more attracted to you than you realize. Sign number four is that you ask questions. I already mentioned that listening is very attractive. Asking questions is, is an, as another piece to this puzzle. When you ask questions, again, she feels understood, she feels important, she feels interesting, she feels drawn to you. So if you're someone who asks questions and engages with her when you talk to her, that is very attractive. Sign number five is that you have a good sense of humor. If you're someone who thinks things are funny and who is a little bit lighthearted, that is really fun to be around. Someone who won't laugh and doesn't think things are funny, that's boring and it's draining. But if you're someone who has a good sense of humor and who's fun to laugh with, that is incredibly attractive. Now real fast before we get to sign number six, I wanna hear from you guys in the comments. Would you like more videos on how to be attractive to women and what women want? If you do, be sure to comment yes and as always, leave suggestions for any other videos you would like to see. Also, I know I'm going to get this question so I wanted to just answer it for you right now. Some of you are already thinking, okay, so if I, if I am attractive and if I have these things, then why am I still not getting the girl? And, and is that you? Are you wondering that right now? The truth is this happens all the time. As a coach, I see this all the time. And the reason is, it's just because you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle. Attraction is a massive piece to the puzzle, but it's not the entire puzzle. I actually just put together a masterclass, totally free masterclass, that teaches you the pieces of the puzzle so that you know exactly why you aren't getting a girlfriend and instead how to get her. And I will cover the three big mistakes that as long as you're making those, you're going to stay single forever. So. So if you're asking this right now, if you're like, okay, so if I'm so attractive, why am I not getting the girl? Then be sure to check out that masterclass right now. There is a link in the description below and I will pin a link in the uh, pinned comment below. What you'll be learning is my five step framework that I teach my paid clients to get their ideal girlfriend. So it's packed with value. Make sure you check out those links right now. Okay, sign number six that you're more attractive than you think actually goes hand in hand with number Five, and that is that you laugh with others. You never want to laugh at someone else. As a matter of fact, that's a really good way to make sure you never get your ideal girlfriend. But if you are someone who can laugh with other people, oh my goodness, we all like people like that because it helps us let our hair down, helps us feel relaxed, and it's incredibly attractive. Fun fact for you about women, one of the very main things a woman looks for in a man is a man who can make her laugh and a man who will laugh with her. So those traits are incredibly attractive. Don't be afraid to laugh with others, to be playful, and even to laugh at yourself sometimes. The truth is, you will feel a lot better and you will be super attractive. The seventh sign that you're more attractive than you think is that you take pride in how you dress and you are proactive about dressing nicely. The truth is so many men, so many men, guys, I see this all the time as a coach. So many men think they're unattractive. They just think they're ugly. When in reality, they just don't know how to dress right, okay? Seriously, I see this all the time. If you aren't dressing the right way, well, yeah, you're going to feel ugly. That's just science, that's just how it works. But if instead, you're dressing super sharp and super confident, you're going to feel super attractive. This is actually why I teach my clients about how to dress. It is insanely powerful. So. If you're someone who doesn't feel super attractive, well, you are gonna wanna look into this. And if you are someone who takes pride in how you dress and you're proactive about making sure you look super nice, then you are far more attractive than you realize because the truth is, it tells her something about who you are as a person and frankly, you just look super hot. Number eight kind of goes along the same lines and that is that you take care of yourself and your possessions. Um, if somebody's like sloppy and disrespectful, that re repels her. She's not going to be attracted to that. But if she sees someone who takes pride in what you do and you take pride in your belongings, your house, your car, how you uh, interact with other people's possessions, that is incredibly attractive to her. Nobody wants to be married to a slob, right? They just don't. But someone who is classy, yeah, everybody wants to be with that person. Number nine is that you are proactive about your health. This is just science, guys. 
always, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I, I always back up my stuff with science. As humans, God just designed us to be attracted to health. Now that doesn't mean you have to be perfect because quite frankly, she's not perfect. But if you are someone who is trying to be proactive about your health, you're trying to eat healthy, you're trying to drink water more often than soda pop, and you're trying to get appropriate types of exercise, that is insanely attractive because the truth is if she wants to spend the rest of her life with you well she wants to make sure you're going to be around and health is makes our bodies attractive it just does so if you're someone who's proactive about health no matter what stage of your journey you are at that right there is super super hot sign number 10 is that you do not criticize other people we're all just trying our best right not, not a single person on this planet is perfect and so when we're around somebody who's critical of of themselves or us or other people it makes us nervous it makes us feel anxious but instead if they are not critical if they're not judgmental and if they're really understanding Oh my goodness, we really like to be around people like that. And that is certainly true for women. That is something she's looking for in her man. Sign number 11 that you're more attractive than you think you are is if you are a positive person, if you are a positive thinker. As I mentioned, if somebody's really negative, it tends to drain us. Nobody wants to spend their life with someone who drains them. And so again, if you're looking for that long-term relationship, you're looking for someone who's positive, who's uplifting. One of the main traits of a positive person, a positive thinker, is that they look for solutions rather than problems. Problems are easy to find. We can find problems all day long, but there's always a solution. And so if you're a solution finder, that right there is insanely attractive. That's the type of man a woman wants to spend her life with. The ninth sign is if you are a confident person and a self-assured person. Confidence is a trait that is just what I like to call attractive by default. Everyone wants to be around someone who's confident. Now, one thing to be aware of is confidence is not just like plowing your way through and like, oh, I'm just gonna make it work. That's actually aggression. Confidence is being assured in who you are and your abilities. Uh, be sure to check out this video for a little bit more on confidence if that's something you would like to work on. Confidence is easily one of the most attractive traits ever like it's super super attractive so if you are someone who um who doesn't like oh poor me but somebody who's like confident in who you are that is massively attractive sign number 13 is that you are a gentleman you are chivalrous we live in kind of a messed up world <laughs> again that tells you so many lies and so there are a lot of men who think that chivalry is outdated and that being a gentleman isn't something that women want anymore the truth is well yeah toxic women don't want that if she's being mean to you for being chivalrous you need to watch this video um and i'll put some links to some other videos down there because the truth is she's a toxic woman but a real woman who's looking for a real long-term relationship that's one of the traits she wants the most and in a world where so many men are being taught not to be chivalrous anymore if you are if you are the gentleman whoa you stand out from the crowd and that right there is going to melt her heart sign number 14 is that you are a generous person you are a giving person have you ever been around someone who's just like super generous and they make you feel like really awesome as opposed to being around somebody who's like stuffy and like not remotely fun to be around. Everyone loves to be around someone who's generous and kind and giving. And that is certainly a trait a woman is looking for in her man. Sign number 15 is that you have a growth mindset. Now, what do I mean by this? Someone with a, a fixed mindset thinks that things just are the way they are and they will never change. Someone with a growth mindset says, okay, well, what can I do to get to where I want to be? For instance, if you go through this list of things I have just shared with you and you say, oh my goodness, I'm not those things, I'm giving up, you do not have a growth mindset. If instead you say, awesome, okay, so I have that one, I have that one, whoa, I don't have that, I don't have that, I don't have that. Okay, so how can I apply that how can I start doing that that is a growth mindset someone who is fixed is fixed they never they never progress where someone with a growth mindset man anything is possible 
and they're so much more enjoyable to be around. They tend to be more positive. And so having a growth mindset is insanely attractive, especially because again, you're ultimately hoping this will become a, a lifelong relationship, right? If she's going to spend her life with you, she wants it to be very progressive. This is also what makes you a really good team player, which is very important and very attractive. Sign number 16 is that you have good work ethic and you have interests and hobbies and things you are doing. People are attracted to interesting people. And if you're not interesting, you're not interesting. <laughs> funny how that works, right? So if you are someone who is driven and passionate and motivated, you are an interesting person. If you have good work ethic and if you have interests and hobbies and things you are involved in, then you are an interesting person to be around and that's someone she's going to feel more safe with and that's someone that it's easy to stay in love with long term. So if you have interests and hobbies and good work ethic, you are more attractive than you realize. Okay, friends, we are to our last sign. And as I mentioned, this is one of the most important traits. As a matter of fact, research shows that this is the trait most people are looking for in a partner. I think it might surprise you, so hold on to your chair. Kindness. Most people want kindness in their partner. And honestly, it's, it's, it shouldn't be so much of a surprise because you want her to be kind to you, don't you? She wants that as well. So many people have been told and maybe even experienced, oh, nice guys always finish last, nice guy never wins. And again, if that's your problem, it's just like I was talking about earlier. Attraction is important, but it is not the whole puzzle. I do teach you the rest of the pieces to the puzzle in my free masterclass. So again, check out the link in the description below or that I pinned in the comment to learn why you're not getting the girl and what you can do instead to get the girl. This is the same framework I teach my clients to get the incredible results they are getting. It's a totally free masterclass, check out those links. If you're the nice guy who doesn't get the girl, well, you need to watch that masterclass because ultimately, kindness and being a nice person is the trait most people are looking for. And it makes sense. If she's going to spend her life with you, she needs you to be kind to her. So as crazy as it may sound, nice guys do not finish last. As a matter of fact, nice guys get women to fall crazy in love with them as long as they know the other pieces to the puzzle. Now, there's one last thing I want to point out before we wrap this up. Guys, did you notice that physical attraction was not mentioned a whole lot on this list? Here's the reality of the situation. Physical attraction is important, but it is nowhere near as important as most people think it is. It is like a tiny, tiny piece of the puzzle when in reality, there's so much more that is more important to women than physical appearance. As I mentioned earlier, one thing that sets my channel apart is that I teach you how to have a long lasting, crazy happy relationship. So many other people on the internet are, are focusing so much on physical appearance because they're teaching you how to have that one night fling to be perfectly honest with you. When in reality, a woman who's looking for that crazy, happy, long-term relationship, there are so many other things that matter to her even more than physical attraction. Physical attraction is important, which is why it's something I teach my clients. I teach my clients how to like skyrocket your physical attraction because the truth is you just deserve it. And if you can have it, why wouldn't you want it, right? It's definitely a good thing to have but it's not the most important thing. The truth is there are men all day long who have six packs and amazing smiles, tons of money who still can't get their ideal relationship. So I really hope that this list was very, very comforting to you. Thank you so much for watching my amazing friends. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. If you would like more videos like this, and I would love to hear which sign actually surprised you the most. If you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do that now and ring that notification bell. And I'd love it if you give me a big thumbs up. If you have a friend who's struggling to feel like he's attractive, would you please share this video with him? I know it would help him so much. And the truth is, friends don't let friends struggle in relationships, right? If we are not yet friends on social media, check out the links for that in the description below as well. Thank you so much again for watching my amazing friend and have an amazing day. Okay, I was thinking something through in my head and I think I figured it out. <laughs> and then I realized I'm recording. So that's why I was gesturing and not talking. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get started. Let's do this. I feel really nervous. I feel like I'm being crowded out by this.
microphone. If this is your first time watching, be, uh, <laughs> Oh, I have a case of the giggles. This is a problem. I have so much in my head. I don't know how to get it all out. Okay. If you um, are somebody who doesn't look people in the eye out of arrogance or someone who doesn't look people out of the eye be or in the <laughs> out of the eye, that doesn't even make sense. Okay. <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> I am losing my voice. I'm going to have to talk like super low. <laughs> that feels weird. <laughs> and sign number six is... <laughs> I can't do that. That sounds creepy. The seventh, or nope, not seventh. <laughs> We're way past seven. So if you are someone who is driven, you have good earth, uh, earth, what? <laughs> Work ethic. Yeah. 